everybody, my name is Katie, and today I'm going to show you how to make a cat house using a t-shirt, a piece of cardboard, two metal hangers, some tape, safety pins, and I got a knife to help me. What we're going to be making is going to end up looking like this. So you can see that the neck part is the opening where the cat can go in, and I made one before that one as well. You can see this is what the sort of bones of the cat house are going to look like. This one actually ended up being a little bit too small, so my piece of cardboard was 15 inches by 15 inches. This one that I'm, I used for the other cat house that I showed you and that I'm going to be using today is just slightly larger, just 15 by 16 inches, but it did seem to make a little bit of a difference. The other thing that made a difference between the two houses was in this one, I cut off this top part of the hanger. And then for the other one, I left it. Um, it just gives you a little bit more of the metal to work with and it makes your cat house a little bit taller and my cats seemed to appreciate that. All right, so we're gonna get started and the first thing that we're gonna do is reinforce our cardboard piece with some tape. And we're just gonna go around the parts. Let me see, you can't really see that. There you go. See that a little bit better. So I'm gonna go over all of the parts of the cardboard piece that bend with tape and picked a kind of old old tape it's not working very well let me see if i can get it to go oh dear there we go that's better okay so you want to use like long pieces of tape like this and I'm just putting it over where it folds like this and just folding the excess under. This is just going to stabilize your bottom and make it a little bit easier to work with and a little flatter for your cat to stand or lay on. Um, you may find that it's a little bit difficult to get your cat to use this at first. And so what I found worked for us was to incorporate some treats and toys. So toss a couple of treats in the house. Your cats might go after it. And also I found that my cat who really likes this t-shirt cat house, she likes to use like her wand toys um, going in and out the entrance. She likes to chase them. Um, I think another thing that would be nice would be a laser pointer could get them involved with getting going in and out of the cat house. My cat doesn't really have any interest in like hanging out in there. It's just more of a toy for her. And then I do have another cat and he's he's considerably larger and so I think it's still maybe a little bit too small for him. So depending on the size of your cat, this may or may not work. Size and interest of your cat. But, you know, worth a shot. So I've reinforced the bendy bits of my cardboard. Actually, I'm going to do it on the other side, too. So I missed that. Just to make it just a little bit stronger. And you can see that I've also put some tape on each corner of the cardboard. And that is where we're going to insert our hangers and it just sort of reinforces that a little bit better. All right, so you can see now my cardboard is pretty flat instead of sort of wobbling around where it was bendy and everything. So there we go. We've got our base for our cat house. Next thing that we need to do is take our hangers and shape them into like a U shape. So this one, I had already sort of unspooled the top. And this does not have to be perfect. Your cat's not going to notice if it's not. Uh, but I'm just sort of straightening everything out and then getting it into kind of like a U or a rainbow shape. 
like that. And then I'm going to do the same thing with the other one. And this one, I hadn't sort of untwisted it yet. Just kind of untwist and then it'll come apart. Um, <laughs> there you go, like that. Um, so I'm going to do the same thing with this one. Some of the other hangers that I've tried this with were considerably thicker than this one that I'm using right now. And so it was a little bit more difficult to untwist the top and to shape it. And definitely the ones that I did cut the tops off, that was a really huge pain. Um, I used wire cutters and even then it was not easy. But if you want to give it a shot, go ahead. See, okay, there I've got my second sort of U shape. And now I'm just going to use my knife. I almost lost a hanger there. <laughs> I'm going to use my knife to poke holes in the corner of the cardboard where I want the hangers to go. It's not the greatest knife. Um, and this may be... It may be really easy for you to stick the hangers through and you don't need a knife, depending on your hangers, if they're super thick or your cardboard a bit thinner than mine. Maybe you have an easier time, but I have found just, just making it a little stick through just helps it, helps the hanger go through the cardboard a little bit. Okay, so now I'm going to put my hangers in my cardboard. So just taking one end and as it comes through, just going to bend it over a little so that it feels like it's flat against the cardboard and it doesn't have to be perfect flat either because we're going to tape it. Oh, and this tape that I'm using, like I, I told you, I'm using this old roll of painter's tape. I just dug out of my closet, but you could use any kind of, kind of tape. I've used masking tape on the other houses that I made, and I thought you could use duct tape easily. So whatever you've got around. So now I'm taking the second wire, and I'm doing the same thing on the opposite corners. I'm sort of making a cross here at the top. And they're going to flop around a little bit as you're doing this. That's okay. Just sort of flattening that bottom part best I can. All right. We are on our way. I'm going to take a piece of tape and I'm going to connect the two hangers at the top about in the middle and just wrap some tape around it going one way. And then another piece just going the other way. Just to sort of stabilize this on top. I've made this part look really nice in, some, in another one that I made, and this one doesn't look so nice, but it's going to be completely covered by your t-shirt, so it does not matter what it looks like. Now I'm going to flip this over, and we're going to tape the hangers on the bottom. This one came out really nice and flat. That's great. But like I said, if it didn't, don't worry about it. So you're just gonna tape that down. And then this one, yeah, not as flat, but pull that back and tape it down. All right, two more to do. Just in noticing that I didn't do a great job of reinforcing this portion over here. I might add some more tape to it in just a second after I get done with this. This one's being a little tricky and sticking out. Just manipulate it and force it down and then put some tape on it. And if it's really wanting to stick back out, you may want to add a second piece of tape. And of course, my tape's acting up again. I should have experimented with this tape before doing this video. It's okay. Stick with me. Stick with me like the tape. 
which it's actually not. All right, there we go. Got it going again, and I just am getting another strip because I found a spot where I feel like I didn't reinforce it well enough. It's just right here. Just needs another little stabilizer, and I think we'll be good. All right, yeah, that's better. Okay, so I can see that our wires are just not looking very pretty, so I'm just gonna kinda straighten them out. These hangers look like sort of, they're even taller than ones that I've used before. This might even be like an extra large cat house, but it's really not that big. So if you have an extra large cat, you might need a bigger piece of cardboard. But, all right. So that's what we're looking like right now. And it looks like we're ready to add our t-shirt. Just take a t-shirt. So it's going to have to be a certain size. Um, this is a large t-shirt, so that's going to work to go over our hangers and cardboard, and I'm just going to slip it over like this. So put the bottom of your t-shirt underneath the cardboard, and then just start sort of working it so that it'll slide <laughs> over our hangers. All right, getting somewhere. Oh, uh, and I noticed that, just noticed that I put the logo side down, so you're not gonna be seeing that in our final product, but that's okay. I'm not gonna take it off and redo it. And so then you just wanna sort of adjust everything until you see that the neck hole is where the entrance to your house should be. And we're getting pretty close here, it looks like. Right. And I'm just sort of shaping my wire a little bit more as I've got the t-shirt over it and I can sort of see where I feel like everything should go. Tightening it up on it a little bit more and we kind of want let's see I want this over some more it's a little crooked <laughs> so yeah it's not perfect but um, you can see that a cat could totally go in there now all right So now the next thing that we do is we're going to safety pin all our loose bits. Okay, so this back is sort of where I start. And you could totally sew this too if that is in your skill set. But I would recommend seeing if your cat is actually going to like this or not before putting in that kind of work. So I'm just going to take some safety pins and pull up the back part and I'm just safety pinning the shirt to itself and I've done you know I've done this a couple times and I've used as few as four safety pins and as many as ten just depending on how tight you want it to be and where all your loose bits end up being So my back is secure-ish there, and then I like to pin up the sleeves. Just pull this up. Safety pin the shirt to itself. All right. And you can adjust the house a little bit as your safety pinning too. Another pin. All my safety pins are a different size, so I'm kind of trying to find the larger ones. I think they're a little easier to work with. And then I'm just going to pin this sleeve back. Like that. And 
Cheers. There we go. T-shirt cat house. So I hope that you enjoyed it and I hope that you give this a shot and that your feline friends really like their new house. Once again, just remember if they're not using it, you can try using treats or toys to get them into it. And I found that once they're in there and you sort of poke at it, they really like that, or at least mine does. So I hope you have fun and keep watching AADL TV and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.